Netflix, Amazon, and Apple. Together, these three companies have amassed over $350 billion in revenue in just 2015 alone, and they've quickly grown to become leaders within their field. So I ask you, how did they achieve this? See, the success of these companies illustrates just how rapidly our industries can change when an innovative company leverages new and emerging technology and uses it to best respond to consumer needs. For instance, Netflix made it easy to stream movies straight to your home. Amazon put an entire store in the palm of your hands. And Apple created an ecosystem of products so advanced that it's touched every single person in this room. See, these companies, they took a risk. And they used technology in ways that have not only transformed, but have revolutionized the industries within which they compete. And today, you have the opportunity to do the same. You now will revolutionize the entire food industry by introducing 3D food printing to the world. See, 3D printing might sound like a technology that's far, far, far out on the horizon, or one that may not have its place in food. However, my team and I will assure you 3D food printing is much closer than you might think, and it will be the next big disruptive technology to impact our industry. So in light of this, today, my team and I are gonna first discuss with you the many trends that will impact the food industry over the next five, 10, even 15 years. We'll then show you how customization of food is the answer to the challenges within the trends that we face. And we'll introduce 3D food printing to you as a way to customize the food that we eat like never before. And finally, we'll provide you all with specific recommendations as to what steps you and your organizations can take with us as we begin this 3D food revolution. So at this time, I'm excited and honored to introduce you to my team of friends and experts, beginning with Matthew Dobson with Pack and Save, Katie Calamine with Cub Foods, Trevor Latham with Nestle USA, Monet Leva with Unified Grocers, we have Marty McFadden with Dean Foods, and I am Mike Doss with King Supers and City Market, and we are Team 3D. And so now we'll begin by first discussing the many trends which will impact our industry. A current trend affecting our industry is a change in demographics. Millennials and Generation Z are unlike any previous generation before. Demographics are changing, and so are their needs and preferences associated with them. Millennials and Generation Z currently make up 46.4% of the current world population, with this expected to increase to 62.7% by 2030. Their needs have changed drastically, with technology enabling them to shift away from traditional methods of shopping. Looking at the characteristics of this demographic, we see they were born up, brought up on technology, meaning they know exactly what they want and when they want it. This is known as the instant gratification segment. Environmental and social responsibility also ranks highest with this demographic. 73% of consumers said they were most willing to pay extra for sustainable products. This group is leading the way for sustainable practices. They are also far more diverse than any previous cohort, meaning they have a far wider range in preferences. They are also, they are also health conscious. Health, healthy eating ranked the most important to this demographic, and they are most willing to pay a premium for it. Now, looking at the changes in shopping behaviour, we can see that consumers in these days are far more active, demanding convenience and efficiency. 68% of consumers shop online once per month, while 28% of consumers shop online once per week. Businesses have introduced concepts such as click and collect, which allow online grocery shoppers to pick up their orders from convenient locations. This has been introduced by businesses such as Instacart, Blue Apron, and most recently, Uber Eats. These once unique business models 
have now become far more common practice and traditional businesses have been forced to alter their strategies accordingly. Finally, looking at sustainability and the world population. The world's population is currently just over 7 billion people, with this expected to grow to over 9.6 billion by 2050. As we can see, there is an increased need for resources as this, as this group grows, resources which are not currently available. It is important that we find sustainable and alternative food sources in order to avoid a food shortage. As we can see, there is a real need for customization in our future. We will now talk more on this point. Customization is an emerging trend that is impacting our industry. Our customers will not just ask for customization, they will demand it. We have found hundreds of companies that are leveraging technology to deliver a customization. There are, here are a few, a few examples of customized products you can find today. Nike ID enables total customization of their shoes, socks, and sports bags through their online site. McDonald's Create Your Taste is a platform that allows customers to customize their burger from a wide range of, of high quality ingredients at an interactive kiosk. Purina Just Right gives customers the ability to create the perfect nutrition for their canine family members. Chef is a meal delivery service that offers hundreds of different recipe options that are vegetarian, vegan, gluten-free, family-friendly, and gourmet. All of these companies are leveraging technology to engage with the consumer and differentiate from their competition. Our industry has the opportunity and must leverage technology to deliver customization to the consumer. 3D printing is the ultimate technology for delivering customization. Today we will share how the, the background of 3D printing and how it relates to the food industry. 3D printing works like inkjet printers, although instead of ink, the printer deposits layers of material to create a three-dimensional object. 3D printing was invented in 1983 by Charles Scholl with the invention, with the printing of a small eyewash cup used by optometrists. This technology has evolved over the last 30 years since its introduction and has caused significant disruption in manufacturing industries. 3D printing has enabled companies to meet the demand for customization. We now have a, sh a short video to show you where 3D printing began and where it is today. It started with a little green cup 30 years ago on a California workbench. A cup that answered one man's what if. What if you could create anything, design with complexity as limitless as your imagination? Store digital files instead of physical parts. Waste less, manufacture faster, customize products on the fly. One little cup, the first 3D printed part and the future of manufacturing. And where's that technology now? It's in the car you drive, it's in the classroom, it's on the silver screen and in the shoes we wear. It's helping travelers fly through the air and pioneers explore the universe beyond. It's making wheelchairs a thing of the past, and it's giving man's best friend a new pair of legs. It's allowing surgeons to plan and practice medical procedures long before they scrub in. It's producing complex metal parts on demand, breaking down the barriers of traditional production. It's driving new manufacturing business models, making customized and personalized production a reality. It's redefining what it means to play with your food. It's letting product designers, entrepreneurs, and architects share their ideas in vibrant color. It's enabling designers and engineers to work seamlessly from digital file to physical part and back again, all on the desktop. It's empowering students with the digital literacy they need to become tomorrow's inventors, innovators, and disruptors, and putting parts manufacturing at the tips of our fingers on demand anywhere in the world. Who knew that a tiny cup would lead the way for millions of ideas, inventions, prototypes, and products? 
that a single stroke of inspiration would unlock the potential within each of us to transform the way we work, learn, and live. For 30 years, our customers have used 3D printing to engineer tomorrow's breakthroughs. What does your future hold? So as you can see, 3D printing is providing exciting and expanding possibilities in customization, and many industries are taking the lead in utilizing it. We'd like to show you some examples of industries who are currently using 3D print technology. This prototype represents the first soon-to-be mass-produced car with 75% of its components 3D printed. This 3D printed jawbone is just one of the many uses in the healthcare industry. And in March of this year, Under Armour released an athletic training shoe with the first 3D printed midsole. Now, can you imagine a 3D printer in your home at the end of this year? Well, this fall, Mattel is releasing the Thing Maker, a 3D printer that will allow children to print out their own toys at home. The child playing with the Thing Maker this fall will be the generation to purchase a food printer in the future. Now, let's take a look at 3D printing and how it relates to the food industry. All of the foods that you see here were printed using a food printer. This technology allows consumers to customize and control ingredient levels to meet their dietary and health requirements. So just imagine, you can print your own food at home, managing your carbs, calories, sugar, sodium, vitamins, and minerals. It's for these reasons that NASA is currently testing 3D printed food. It offers personalized customization and sustainability to shelf life. And in Germany, nursing homes are already using 3D printed food to ensure that senior residents are receiving adequate nutrition. As our population continues to grow, a, a increased pressure is placed on existing resources to support it. 3D food printing allows for the use of alternative sources, such as plant-based foods, to feed and support our growing population. 3D food printing offers personalization, customized nutrition, and sustainability for our future. Now, if we take a look at where 3D food printing is on the product life cycle, it is still in the introduction and development phase compared to other industries who have already entered early growth. However, we see 3D food printing as, as, as moving at a much significantly faster rate than the other industries for two reasons. First, the other industries have already created the platform and they've advanced the technology over the past three decades. 3D food printing can use this as a starting point. Secondly, as consumers become accustomed to receiving 3D printed products, it's going to pave the way for the natural adoption of food printing. The possibilities here are endless. Now we would like to walk you through the benefits of 3D food printing. Today, the 3D printing industry as a whole is worth $1.8 billion and is expected to reach $17.8 billion by 2031. Now, as this industry continues to rapidly grow, the cost of 3D printers is actually decreasing, dropping by a rate of 20% year over year. As standardization of this technology continues to advance, the cost of 3D printers will continue to decrease, making this technology more available to a wider consumer and customer base. Now, there are many valuable benefits of 3D printed technology to both the food industry as a whole and to consumers. The customization, convenience, and sustainability of 3D printed food will truly resonate with consumers, especially millennials and Generation Z, who will become the largest portion of the future consumer base. Retailers and CPG companies will also be able to leverage the convenience of 3D printed food to take back market share from the restaurant industry specifically within the fast casual segment. There are also supply chain benefits to 3D printed food, given that the packaging of 3D printed food cartridges is slimmer and lighter than traditional food preparation methods, making for lower transportation costs and more efficient use of warehouse space. But ultimately, the biggest advantage of 3D printed food is the opportunity to capitalize on this technology before an outside industry does. 
As 3D food printing continues to progress, new companies will emerge that will leverage this technology on a small scale, direct to consumer basis. By working together, today's retailers and CPG companies can integrate 3D, 3D printing into their existing business model to gain competitive advantage before an outside industry does. Now that you have a better understanding of the 3D printing industry as a whole and how it relates to food, we'd like to walk you through a timeline of how we see this technology progressing throughout our industry over the next 15 years. This progression will occur in four key phases. In the first phase, we'll see adoption of 3D food printers within grocery store bakeries. Consumers will be able to customize and personalize baked goods and desserts. As we move to the second phase, standardization of this technology and research and development will continue to drive the cost down. At the same time, consumer packaged goods companies will be able to offer select national brands as 3D printed food. Leveraging these trusted national brands will accelerate the adoption of 3D food printing and drive more consumer awareness. As we move into the third phase, we'll see expansion beyond just the bakery. Retailers will be able to offer ready to cook and ready to eat meal solution type offerings within their meat and deli departments. In the fourth and final phase, 3D food printers will move into the consumer marketplace as the next household kitchen appliance. Consumers will be able to customize every aspect of their meal from the individual ingredients to the nutritional content they desire. Imagine being able to take out your smartphone and select what you wanted to eat for dinner that night to arrive home later and have your meal ready, fully customized and personalized in every detail. This is the future of 3D food printing in our industry. At the touch of a button, consumers will be able to get their food the way they want, when they want. We've just shared with you how the 3D food printer is going to be the next household kitchen appliance. Now, this might seem a little hard to imagine, but let's consider the microwave. That technology took time to gain traction with consumers, but today is in almost every home across the United States. We see 3D food printing having even faster adoption with consumers because of this technology platform that has already taken place with 3D printing in the industries today. Now, whether you want to be the first retailer to offer 3D printed goods in your bakery, or you want to be the first consumer packaged goods company to mass produce 3D printed foods, there are some key steps you must take to be ready for this technology. First, you must prioritize the research and development of 3D printing within your organization. You have to decide how this technology is going to work for you. Second, as the industry moves forward on this technology, it will be important for us to partner with technology companies and form an advisory board so that we can promote the standardization and adoption of this technology across the total industry. Through standardization, we have the opportunity to lower the costs of 3D printed food for everyone involved. If we don't offer 3D printing to our consumers, someone from outside of our industry will. So here's what it all comes down to. Trends are taking place that have the potential to disrupt our industry like never before. Demographics and purchasing patterns are changing. There has never been a greater demand for customization. Our future generations, they're telling us what they want loud and clear. The world's population is growing and we are constrained by limited resources. Sustainability is more important than ever before. We're here to tell you today, 3D printing addresses these trends and it's a solution for our future. We have all seen the impact that Amazon, Apple, and Netflix have each had on their respective industries. They changed the way business was done. 3D food printing is the next disruptive technology that will face the food industry. Today, 
Here in this room together, we have our leaders of our industry. And the future, it depends on you. So as you leave today, invest in the research and development of 3D printing for your organization. Commit to participating in the 3D printing advisory board and help our industry move forward with this technology together. Together, we can do anything. And if we're not together, someone from outside of our industry will find a niche and enter this technology, and we will lose. Now, the table is set. Will there be a seat for you? We are Team 3D, and we thank you very much for your time today. We would now like to open it up for questions. First of all, very nice job. You guys seem really relaxed, and it seems like you studied the material very, very well. Hey, the singularity concept talks about the speed at which computers become so fast they recreate themselves, which seem to be way in the future. When you talk about technology, automation, innovation, how do you see that affecting the job market and job growth? There will be a shift with 3D printers um, in terms of labor. With uh, some examples, such as the, the bakery example, um, there, are, there are jobs currently that are um, being taken care of by a person that potentially a 3D printer would replace, but then that also is going to be supplemented by the service industry um, to work on the 3D printers in terms of servicing them um, and producing the parts for them as well. I think um, in addition to that, it allows for increased engagement in departments such as bakery where when customers come in that allows us to speak with them one on one to determine what is it that they want created what type of event are they they looking for a specialized product for and allow us to service them in a way that we haven't been able to do prior thank you sorry i have to walk all the way back over here <laughs> I agree. Great, uh, great presentation. When you um, when you say that in 2017 you're estimating that bakeries will start to use this technology, in your study, is there anybody that is currently using it, or is there anybody that's ahead of the curve in the industry? There are multiple companies that are already taking steps to create 3D printed foods. Um, in our research, we looked at at multiple of these. You see the creation just with technology companies that are working on their own 3D printers for food. They have the ability to create custom cake toppers and things like that because of the binding agents that sugars and starches offer. That's a really easy intro progression of where the technology is going to start, and that's why we feel it is going to be a first progression into the bakery. In looking at industries that are already, or companies that are already using it in food, Barilla Pasta is currently working on designed pastas where they can print fresh options to customer design that is going to be able to be offered. We also have Hershey's who is offering or starting to work on 3D printed. Mondelez has worked on some 3D printing of the cream inside an Oreo. Um, as well as we have these companies over in Europe that they're already using 3D printed foods to provide nutrition to residents in, in nursing homes to make sure that they're not, they're getting the nutrition they need from the food that they're intaking. Um, so there are a lot of companies already started and that's why we strongly feel that the rest of the industry, we have to get started so that when this breaks, we do it together before some of these technology companies have the opportunity to step in on their own and take that ability away from us. Jennifer, what, one more. more. Great presentation. Um, question, the food industry, we've, we've had a lot of criticism in the past about uh, food being over-processed, and this feels like it could be 
hyper-processed food. Have you thought about how you would overcome that as an objection from a consumer? So there, there's actually kind of a hybrid strategy with 3D food printing right now. There's a company called Foodini that has reusable uh, stainless steel capsules that you can load fresh ingredients into if you're looking for more of that um, you know, fresh experience. You also, we see the, the industry progressing to where we have pre-packaged shelf-stable inputs. So the consumer would have the option in terms of the two technologies there, um, but ultimately the, the end goal is to have customization of whatever the input is you know, whether you're looking for something shelf-stable or for that, um, you know, that fresh, non-processed experience.